I almost gave up on myself, Goldar. But your little picture show reminded me how much good I've done. Not only as a Green Ranger, but as me, plain old Tommy. What is up, y'all? Welcome back to Cajun Towboater Reviews. My name is Bo, a.k.a. the Cajun Towboater. And today we are reviewing the um, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers 7-inch. I, uh, I don't really know what to call these figures. I guess the VHS figures because they come with a little in a little box that looks like a VHS tape. That's just what I'm going to call them, VHS figures. Um, the Mighty Morphin Green Ranger. And it says on the back, The Green Ranger morphs into battle with the power of the Dragon Zord. Um, these came out on Hasbro Pulse, and before they sold out, I got this one and the White Ranger. So before, and I thought about buying these because I do have the um, Megazord, the uh, Dino Megazord, the Lost Galaxy Megazord, and the Wild Force Megazord um, from in this v, uh, VHS line, like I'm calling it. Um, and I do like those, but before I got the Rangers. Um, all of the other Rangers. I wanted to check out these first. So let's take a look at the box. We've got Mighty Morphin Green Ranger, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers on the side. There you go. You got on the back. And it looks like he comes with the um, Dragon Dagger, the Sword of Darkness, and I'm not sure that's that, like if it's like a cardboard, like Pog looking power coin. I guess I will see when I open it up. Um, like I said, I've never had any of these before, so um, I want to check it out. Um, this is the plastic-free packaging. This is um, more of the product that's directed towards, like, uh, that's produced to go towards children instead of the adults, like what the Lightning Collection is. But I still want to go ahead and check this out. Um, so let's go ahead, open it up move over to the desk and um, check for any imperfections and the articulation. But first, cue that intro. I need dragons for power! Here is the 7 inch Green Ranger out of the box. Um, I'm going to call this the VHS series because they have, like I said, cardboard in there shaped like a VHS. And this is what the Green Ranger one looks like. It says Green Ranger on it. So this is why I'm calling them the VHS series. I got one for the White Ranger 2 that I will show off when I do the White Ranger. So let's check out the accessories. Comes with the Sword of Darkness, just white plastic, no detail painted. Um, that's that's it. Let me. Um, I would see. I mean, it kind of does look like it's the same molded plastic, like the same uh, mold they use for the Lightning Collection. Just the plastic's not that great. And here's the Dragon Dagger. I'm just going to go ahead and call these, besides VHS series, Lightning Collection Light. Um, these are mainly for the kids who the parents want to get them into collecting, but they don't want them to open up the Lightning Collection stuff. Because this is basically the 7 inch, like 7 inches instead of 6 inches, but um, not as much articulation. And I thought this was like a pog, but it's actually plastic. It says Power Rangers on the back. And it's a sticker of the dragons or like of the each ranger, I guess all of them come with that. Um, of their power coin, basically. So, I do like it. Um, I gotta figure out where I'm gonna put these though. So, that's the accessories. Let's go ahead and get this off of the turntable. And we will check them out for any imperfections and check out the articulation that it has. Alright, here it is off of the turntable. And it is a little hard to get it to stand up straight without like any articulation in the knees or anything like that. Um, it is a little hard. Uh, like, barely any articulation. You gotta get them. There, go as about as straight as I can get them to stand. 
So unlike the Lightning Collection, this one doesn't have an ab or torso, cr torso crunch. The helmets um, don't come off. I don't want to break it. As far as I know, the helmets don't come off. He can look up that much, down that much. I did notice his dragon shield is a little crooked. It goes more towards over here. But the dragon shield does. It can come off right here. You can undo it. I'm not going to undo it. I don't feel like having a fight to put it back on. Um, these, instead of like being more 3D on there, it's just paint. So, he's got a single jointed elbow. His arms go up this much. They can do a full 360. Um, these do not have the butterfly joints. This is white instead of black. The gold, the Morpher's gold, so that's good. Um, he can split this much. He can kick out this much. He does have a knee swivel, no boot swivel, no thigh swivel, no uh, bicep swivel. He's got a single jointed knee. And that's it for all the articulation. Um, like I said, it's not that great of articulation in the knee. But this is a good figure nonetheless for a child just starting out to collect um, with his parents. Like I said, I would get these for my son. Um, they are nice. Um, and a child can play with them and mess them up. That way it doesn't mess with the parents light in the collection. Um, so this is like a, like I'm calling the VHS collection or the lightning collection light or lightning collection for kids. Um, whatever you want to call them, but they are good. This is a good figure nonetheless, besides the little crookedness of the shield. Um, no paint imperfections that I see and that should be black instead of white. But like I said, this isn't like like the Lightning Collection where it's more geared towards the adult collectors, the adult fans. Um, which that has been stated that Lightning Collection is more towards geared towards the adult fans. Um, I will go ahead and I will give this one, I'll take off 0.5 for that being crooked and 0.5 for that not being black. Um, I will give this a 9 out of 10. Another thing that this got right that the Lightning Collection that some of them do not have, the black on the boots. A lot of the Lightning Collection where the Rangers should have black on the bottom of their boots, they don't. So that is a plus. That's the reason I didn't take off more for the that being crooked and the color being wrong. So yeah. And... Like I said, it's just, it's hard to get him to stand up straight without that full articulation, double knee articulation, uh, double jointed knee articulation. So if you actually collect these and you've gotten the other ones, um, the red, yellow, black, and I even think the pink is out as well. I just have the green and the white at the moment. Um, oh, and the blue, sorry. Um, let me know. Let me know what you like about them. Let me know what you don't like about them. Let me know if you're um, worried that the Lightning Collection um, won't come back after this little break, even though they said there's just a little break and they will be coming back. Um, let me know your thoughts on that break as well. You can search Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and uh, Twitter for The Cajun Toe Boater. Um, you can follow me on there. You can message me on Instagram and Facebook. I will respond on those. Um, you can search Two Old Cages Nerd Out. That's my Cajun Toy Reviews podcast channel. We just did a part two of uh, our ten more things that existed as uh, that don't exist that existed uh, now that existed for us as uh, when we were kids. But I want to thank you all for watching. Thank you all for subscribing. Just overall, thanks for everything. And? Thanks for coming out. <laughs>